Overwatch Twitter. Overwatch Twitter. Overwatch Twitter. Overwatch Twitter. Everyone started spamming Overwatch Twitter. Doomfist rework. General is now a tank. Health increased to 450. Whoa! Hand cannon. Ammo recovery increased to once every 0.4 seconds. Damage reduced from six to five per bullet. Power block. Protect yourself from frontal attacks. Preventing, which are blocking heavy damage empowers rocket punch. Empowered rocket punch travels faster, further, and deals increased damage. So, rocket punch is just juiced up brine pin. Sounds like um going for rank one doom tank. I might wait. Uh, uppercut, ability removed. Okay, so no more uppercut. Rocket punch, max charge time reduced to one second. Impact damage reduced to 15 to 30. Wait, what? Wall slam damage reduced to 20 to 40. So max charge time reduced from to one second. Impact damage reduced from 15 to 30. Wall slam damage reduced from to 20 to 40. So he has a maximum damage output of 70. So if you hit them with a full punch and they hit the wall, it does 70 damage. Okay. That's actually, wait a minute, that's so different. What the fuck? Seismic Slam now launches you like Winston's Leap. On landing, it deals damage and slows enemies. Meteor Strike now adds a slow to all enemies hit Outer ring damage reduced to 100 to 15. Activation time reduced to 0.5 seconds. Holy shit. So Doomfist, Doomfist is like a hybrid between Winston and Rhine. Wait a minute. This is kind of nuts. This is kind of nuts. Arissa also? Wait, what? Augmented Fusion Driver. Now rapidly fires large projectiles. Projectiles start large and shrink down? Uses a heat mechanic instead of ammo slash reload. She has an L-Star! What? Dude. Energy Javelin. Launch your Javelin at the enemy to stun and knock them back. More effective if an enemy hits a wall, whoa, uh, fortify now also gains 125 temporary health. Now also slowed by 20% while active. Reduce heat generated from firing by 50% while active. <laughs> javelin spin. Spins your javelin to destroy projectiles. Push enemies and increase forward speed! Oh! So, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. She has an L-Star. She has a stun javelin that she can go oh, zoom at. She gets extra health. She has a fat or redu reduced uh, uh, generated heat from the firing. And she can destroy, does that mean she has defense matrix? Wait a minute. Spin your javelin, destroy projectiles. Wait a minute, does she have a DM? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Can, can Arissa eat? Can Arissa eat ults? Thank you. Tracer ain't the cavalry no more. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, let's finish this. Terra Surge. Sweep in enemies and anchor down, getting the effects of fortify and charging up a surge of damage. Use primary fire to unleash the surge ability. What the fuck does that even mean? 
Abilities removed. Projective barrier, halt. Okay, so she they completely got rid of everything for her. It's completely different. Is there an... Is that the article? Okay, cool. <sighs> Retro, you know what time it is. It's content time. Legend of Talon and Hero of Numbani. Doomfist and Arissa's tank overhauls. Two opposing forces. One a benevolent protector of Numbani and other a mighty successor to the city's scourge are both receiving reworks just in time for the Overwatch 2 PvP beta. Although the new 5v5 team composition will change the way tanks approach team fights. Wait a minute, hold on. Let, hang on. Let's look at this graphic really quick. What the fuck is this? Um, Their primary objectives will remain the same. Focus on making space for the team, initiate engagements, and peel for allies in trouble. Overall, they're going to feel brawlier, dishing out more damage while utilizing their strong defensive capabilities. Lead hero designer Jeff Goodman led the charge on Doomfist's transition from damage to tank hero, and senior hero designer Brandon, Brandon Brennan took over on the Arissa rework. Let's jump into how both of these heroes have tailored to fit the changes coming in Overwatch 2. Okay, so we've looked over this already. Doomfist's current playstyle is unique, even for a damage hero. He's a fast-paced, mobile, and lethal brawling machine. Doomfist is a combo hero taking a page out of fighting games, we want to keep that feeling while moving him into the tank role, explains Goodman. Some abilities, he says, will seem familiar, while others will def further define him as a tank. His base health is increasing from 250 to 450, putting him much more in line with other tank heroes. Okay. Hand cannon will function similarly, trading faster ammo recharge for slightly less damage. Rocket punch is quicker and deals less damage. What is the potential to knock back enemies? Power Block is the new core of Doomfist's kit. With Power Block, Doomfist enters a defensive stance. Now reduce all damage taken by 90%. By 90... Wait, did we see that before? Wow. Okay, so it does 90%, so it's not everything. So you can actually still be hurt by it, but it's 90%. Holy shit. Doomfist is gone and becomes charged if he blocks enough damage with power block. His charged gauntlet empowers his next rocket punch damage, knockback radius, travel speed, and distance. His targets will be stunned if they are, if he knocks them in against a wall. Opposing players should be cautious about using about charging Doomfist gauntlet, says Goodman. Power block feels kind of like Zarya when people shoot into her shields. But instead of passively gaining damage, his next punch will get a buff that lasts until either uses Rocket Punch or is eliminated. Doomfist's kit rewards both defensive and offensive playstyles with many high damage combos. When he blocks damage for his team, he can quickly charge Rocket Punch, knock enemies back, and potentially stun them for around one second if they are punched into a wall. Wait, what? Potentially stun them for around one second if they're punched into a wall. Holy shit, that's a long time. When you block a hard-hitting attack, you get powered up, and it, inst it powered up instantly. It feels like a parry, says Goodman. That looks kind of lit. I'm not going to lie to you. That looks kind of lit. That looks kind of lit. Seismic Slam now launches Doomfist into the air uh, towards where you're aiming. Wait, what? Seismic Slam now launches Doomfist into the air towards where you're aiming. Like Winston's leap upon landing, he creates a shockwave that damages and slows enemies. Doomfist has super fluid mobility on all planes right now, says Goodman. He gained a ton of mobility with the seismic slam. He doesn't have as much jerky, unpredictable movement. He has many similarities to other disruptive tanks like Wrecking Ball and or Winston. So it is important to be very aware of Doomfist's placement. For example, remembering that a power block only blocks damage from the front is key when jumping into the enemy team with seismic slam you want to ensure that you you jump all the way over your enemies so you can power block their damage and rocket punch them into your team without taking heavy hits from the back doomfist ultimate meteor strike has gained new utility of a shorter cast time overall the damage has been reduced, but the impact damage at the center will still be a hard hitter. The knockback has been removed and replaced with a slow for all enemies hit, making this an ability a great initiating tool for your team. This modified ultimate paired with his tank aligned chart changes enables the quick impactful gameplay 
that he has had as a damage hero. While he is positioning and combos require more finesse to manage, he has transformed into a more approachable, free-flowing, and impactful tank, all while feeling similar to current Doomfist players. All right, Orisa. Honestly, I'm a little bit more excited about Orisa than Doomfist, I think. I mean, I guess it's both, but Orisa looks cool. Orisa. While some of Doomfist's power was shifted to his defensive abilities to make him a viable tank pick, Orisa underwent the opposite. The team noticed that she struggled with brawling and toe-to-toe -to -toe engagements, so we had to adapt her into the future of the game. We don't take Orisa's rework lightly, says Brennan. We want it to be meaningful to the game and feel good for players who are attached to her. Rissa's rework will adapt her playstyle to 5v5 and give her more tools to engage in teamfights. Her health and armor are being increased to help push her, or help push ahead onto the enemy team. Rissa's primary fire is a projectile that is larger and does more damage the closer she is to enemies. Wait, what? So if you're up close with Orisa, she fucks your shit. Instead of ammo, her primary fire builds up heat that only decreases when not firing her weapon. If her weapon overheats, it will be unusable for three seconds. We want Orisa to push and engage enemies more, says Brennan. Her gun encourages her to get close to enemies and play more forward in Overwatch 2. Orisa's secondary fire, Energy Javelin, is now a skill shot projectile javelin that impacts the first enemy in its path. It's a micro stun and can do damage when there's a wall behind you. She has a skill shot? What the hell? Javelin spin, another new ability, enables Arista to rapidly spin a javelin that destroys incoming projectiles increases forward movement speed and damages enemies while pushing them back this is literally cavalry orissa our primary purpose with the javelin spin is to help orissa engage and get into the fight says brennan when paired with her other abilities it can become a lethal combo you can herd enemies backward and follow up with an energy javelin to push them into a wall so orissa is a bully now Arissa actually is here to take your lunch money. Fortify has received a few adjustments to her new playstyle, including generating less heat with Arissa's primary fire, allowing her to fire it for longer. The ability that also provides 125 she, she extra health. Above her head and turn into an attack helicopter. <laughs> yeah. The ability also provides 125 extra health, giving her increased survivability in team fights. Brennan explains. The idea behind this change is that Fortify will always yield meaningful, decisive value for Arissa whenever she uses it. Terra Surge is an Arissa's ultimate or Arissa's new ultimate ability. She has she becomes fortified and pulls in nearby enemies while charging up an area of effect attack. We started her rework by removing Arissa's barrier and her halt ability. Orisha straight up just said, "Heck you, Doomfist! I but, got abilities too." This sounds like lore to me now. True, but we still have the halt, which is we still have the halt, which is wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. What? We started by reworking Arissa's barrier and her halt ability, but we thought we still th thought halt was really cool. Says Brennan. We incorporated the idea of halt into Arissa's new ultimate, and this is where the pull comes in. This creates a moment for the team to rally around and quickly coordinate combos. However, enemies aren't bound to the center of Arissa's pull like a Zarya Graviton Surge, so you will need to collaborate quickly to make the most of this ultimate. Wait, what? So, like, she has a pull on herself? Wait, what? As we begin beta... So her ultimate is to pull people to her? That's wild. Wait, how big is that? As we begin beta testing with a significant shift to 5v5 and one tank per team, please keep in mind that all these changes and reworks are a work in progress. They are subject to change as we see more and more players use these heroes in game. We look forward to hearing your feedback and seeing those reworked heroes shine in the upcoming PvP beta, which I'll be streaming on April 26th. <sighs> Can't wait for that. 